Bismillahirrahmanirrahim <coughs> Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd Habita fillah I want to advise myself and my brothers and sisters to beware of entertainment da'wah and what I mean by this I mean that those people they may have good intentions they want khair they want people to come to kitab wa sunnah they want people to come closer to Allah so they have intention but the other condition for ibadah is not there and that means the ittiba, mutaba, to follow the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the result of this ahabatifillah is that we get entertainment da'wah. Da'wah that is based on just entertaining the people, big jokes. You listen to some of the people's lectures, all you have is, you have as much laughter as you have of Islamic knowledge. They're equal on equal footing. On top of that, sometimes you have more laughter than you have of knowledge. And with that laughter and with that will and wish and desire to entertain the people and bring them closer to Allah, often the people make many mistakes. And they fall into sin because they end up lying on the Prophet Sallallahu lying on the salaf of this ummah radiallahu ta'ala majma'een and greater than that lying upon Allah Azza wa Jal the creator of the heavens and earth because of the mistakes, the slips of the tongue the more we try to entertain the more we try to engage the people at the expense of the deen it's an incredibly dangerous endeavor and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam let us know that there's already a minhaj, already a methodology to follow. And that by living after him, we would see many and kathira, that you're gonna see many differences of views and opinions, and many differences of manahaj, of different ways and paths that the people take. For example, you have some groups uh, amongst the Sufis. You have so many uh, Sufi turuk, tar tariqa. You know, you have uh, these paths. I'm the Naqshbandi. I'm Tijaniya. I'm such and such this. I'm this and this. Tariqa. But this is not from the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And the end result of most of those Turk, if not all, is shirk. Is they go do ibadah to other than Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Or they associate partners with Allah like their, their Marid or their Sufi Shaykh or whatever. And this is not the way the Prophet Sallallahu and, and Islam is free from this. Going back to the entertainment da'wah, Ahabatifillah. As we mentioned, those people who are du'at on that methodology, they often make many mistakes in aqidah sometimes, in their creed, and definitely in their methodology. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said very clearly, If tarakat al Yahud ala ithna wa sabain firqa, wa if tarakat al Nasara ala ithna tain wa sabain firqa, wa tatabtariku hadi umma ala thalatha wa sabain firqa, kullaha fi nar illa wahida. Kulla man hiya ya Rasulullah, kala man kana ala mithli wa ma kana alayhi wa ashabi al yawm. Wa kama kala nabiyu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said the Jews will break into 71 sects the Christians into 72 sects, and my nation into 73 sects, all of them in the fire except one. And they said, who are they, Ya Rasulullah? The Prophet Sallallahu said, those who are upon my sunnah and what my companions are upon, letting us know that the way of the Salaf is the most, is the best way, the purest way, the orthodox way. It is the path that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam treaded and left for us 
and desired for us to follow. Because the Prophet said in another hadith, Ali can be sunnati. It's upon you my sunnah and the way of the Khulafa Rashidin. So when it comes to da'wah, as many of the ulama say, a da'wah tawqifiyah, that a da'wah is something you can't tamper with, that it is restrained and restricted by the sharia. So therefore, we strive to follow the methodology of the salaf of this ummah, that we do not mix the entertainment with the da'wah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or letting that entertainment overtake our da'wah this is the problem so of course you need to reach the people in the a means that they understand we live in a different time we live in a different place those things are very relevant we don't just discard those things that's a part of da'wah that's a part of having fiqh of, of the people who you know who your audience is but at, we do not in order to please our audience do that at the cost at the expense of the deen so the prophet sallallahu alaihi wa said it's upon you my sunnah and the sunnah of the rightly guided khalifa the prophet sallallahu alaihi wa said the best people is of my generation then those who follow them then those who follow them that means the salaf of salih that's why we say we try to follow the madhab, the minhaj of the salaf. Because the Prophet ﷺ praised them. ﷺ, and said that they are the best generation. And that we should follow their sunnah. So, Ahabatifillah, be careful and beware of other manahij and other types of da'wah. And those things which don't necessarily bring you closer to Allah Azza wa Jal, but they bring you further and you don't even know. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jal. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.